In planning our kitchen remodel, one of the hardest decisions was actually picking a sink. I'm not sure why, but it was for us. We settled on stainless steel and Kraus and Ruvati seem to have the best reviews online, uh, regardless of price. Uh, they're in the 400-ish range, I think, right now for this 30-inch size. Uh, there are you know, a vast number of brands, some that seem to be U.S. brands. I think actually these are both U.S. brands, but most of the sinks out there, uh, almost all of the sinks out there that are stainless steel are actually made with Chinese stainless steel and uh, they may or may not be assembled in the U.S., but the steel is not U.S. steel. There are U.S. steel brands that are custom. Uh, they're in the three to four plus thousand dollar range and that wasn't in our budget here. The the Kraus is this is a Kraus undermount sink 30 inch model. This is a Ruvati top mount sink 30 inch model and the reason that one is being looked at is it can be undermounted. I confirmed it with the manufacturer even though it doesn't say that in the description and it the top mount is the only version that has rounded radius inside corners. Their undermount has zero radius like on the Kraus. So that might be a place to start. As you can see, this is like a single piece of stainless steel that's bent uh, and the sides are micro welded onto that with a robot, I believe. And here they look okay. Uh, and then as you get over here, you can, it kind of looks like grout. And then it, even in some areas, it actually looks a little open, especially at the tops. And we just worry about that getting gunk in it. This one also happened to have little, uh, little scratch dot scratches. It looks like they ran a machine up here. Might have been the micro welder welding the backside over here. And, and we will see that there's this like slight radius in here. I wish everything was like that. That is a perfect radius for us. You could still get in there and clean it kind of easily. But uh, over here on the Ravati, it's a little bigger radius. Obviously be able to clean even easier. I do like the look though of a, a slightly less of a radius. You will see at the top, so you have that same thing going on with the micro weld on the 90 degree and you can kind of see some gaps slightly. I'm told that those gaps aren't continuous, that they are micro welded on the back side. I just think that gunk can build up and might be a little hard to clean. Doesn't look wonderful. The other differences are the lip is a little shallower over here on the Kraus. I, the cutting board sits just slightly proud and the cutting board we got on here, actually it wasn't a perfectly flat cutting board. So it kind of wobbled on it, which would probably get annoying. Uh, I haven't checked the cutting board for the Rivati, but it does, uh, it is deeper. So I'm, I'm assuming it sits flush, if not even under, but I'm guessing it's flush. The uh, material differences, the Kraus, very polished, can't even hear anything. The Ruvati, you can kind of hear that. It is polished, but it has a slight texture to it. So not sure which one is easier to clean because of that. I would think a more polished would be easier to clean. I don't know if that makes it more susceptible to scratching. Uh, the Because this is technically a top mount, you're sort of limited on your hole placement. Unless you want to drill some new holes. Uh, you're not limited over here. They have about the same size internal dimensions. So we were not able to find a good direct comparison of the two, especially with, you know, video image up close. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the comments. I'll see if I can answer them. Thanks a lot.